Jordan and her family awoke at sunrise, ready to make the most of their third day in the Bahamas. After all, with her family and her girlfriend by her side, what more could a 21-year-old girl from Torrance, California want? But who knew that this vacation would turn out to be a horrible experience that would wrench their hearts forever? Jordan Lindsay, who was snorkeling with her family on Rose Island when a group of sharks attacked them, like many tourists, the Lindsays had always wanted to visit the Bahamas, and unlike many other places, the Bahamas lived up to their expectations for beauty and adventure. In Los Angeles, Jordan was enrolled at Loyola Marymount University for her communications degree. At 12 o'clock, her communications major girlfriend Gianna was also in class. After a full day of adventures, the family was ready to unwind and take in the sights when they spotted the Sandy Toes tour business and chose to go to Rose Island instead. The six-hour excursion included a boat ride, snorkeling, and a visit to a private beach where you could touch swimming pigs. Though the excursion was booked solid for the day, Michael Jordan was able to convince the company to squeeze his family onto it, and Jordan was overjoyed. The happy family boarded the ferry, smiling at each other, not realizing that their lives were about to be irrevocably altered. The small ferry was docked, floating above the rich turquoise waters below. Despite the fact that it was the middle of summer, the sun had decided to hide effectively today behind the gray clouds looming over the ocean. Jordan and Cami, on the other hand, wanted the full experience, and Jordan wanted to make the most of it. After some discussion, the family settled on parking for a while and then having Jordan and Cami meet Michael and the rest by the beachside. The distance to the other side, where the snorkeling spot was located, was not as great as it might have seemed at first. Jordan waved farewell as she and Cami walked away from the beach, and the remaining members waved back, unaware that this was their last chance to see her alive. Before we move further in the video, dive into the world of sharks by subscribing to our channel and get ready for a tidal wave of thrilling content that will leave you hooked. Jordan and Cami approached the guide and followed the trail. The snorkeling spot was not far, but the journey there provided an opportunity for introspection among the lush vegetation and exotic birds like peacocks. The trail was sparsely populated with benches, locker rooms, and bathrooms for the visitors. Cami and Jordan walked calmly alongside the other tourists, talking about life, school, and family until they reached the snorkeling spot and changed into their wetsuits. Jordan and Cami were excited about their upcoming adventure. Jordan's anticipation for the underwater creatures was through the roof. After some aimless wandering around, it was time to leave. Jordan moved towards the deeper section of the water, and her timing couldn't have been better as the sun began to peek out from behind the clouds once more. Jordan continued to peer through the water, illuminating the gorgeous architecture of the coral reefs below. Cammie had also gone in the water and was thoroughly enjoying her underwater exploration. When Cammie heard Jordan cry, Mom, she peered above the surface and noticed something out of the ordinary. The motherly instincts kicked in, and Cammie yelled at Jordan from a distance, telling her to swim towards her, but it was futile. The school of sharks pounced on her without warning. At first, Cammie thought it was a school of dolphins and that Jordan wanted to show it to her, but as she looked more intently, an ominous feeling enveloped her. It was a feeling no mother ever wants to feel. Jordan put up a valiant effort, but the sharks were already enraged by the sight of blood. Cami screamed at Jordan again, urging her to swim towards her, but when she got closer, she saw that Jordan's right arm had been bitten off by the shark. Horrified, Cami immediately sprang into action, swimming towards Jordan despite the risk of being attacked herself. When Cami finally got to Jordan, she fought off the sharks by beating them with everything she had. Jordan's nose was dripping blood. Cami was determined not to give up, so she dragged Jordan towards a nearby rock and called for assistance. While Michael and his family were petting pigs on the beach, they received word that a teenager had been attacked by sharks in the snorkeling area. After a short wait, Jordan was taken by ambulance to a hospital where she was later pronounced dead. Jordan died from her wounds, and in the months after her passing, her family voiced their displeasure with the company's lack of shark attack protocols. Cammie still feels the effects of the tragedy, haunted by the agonizing memory of watching her daughter disappear from her arms. She is still trying to recover from the traumatic experience. What have you learned from Jordan's story? 
Do share your views in the comments section below.